In this video, we're going to show how to do realistic momentum. So if I accelerate this car and then stop the acceleration, it slowly uh, comes to a halt. If I accelerate, it slowly speeds up to top speed, uh, etc. This is a lot more realistic, especially with things like racing games and vehicles. Uh, it's a lot more realistic than just going from zero to full speed uh, immediately, because that sort of is really jarring. Okay, so let's look at uh, how we set up the car object here. Um, so you'll notice in addition to the usual things like rotation and X and Y, um, we're going to have uh, a few things you might not have seen before. We're going to have a top speed, uh, which is uh, the maximum that we're going to limit our acceleration to. So you can't go any faster than that. We're then going to have how much you can accelerate each frame. Now that's going to be quite low because we have 60 uh, updates per second, uh, but you can always play around with that number. Uh, and then the initial speed, or let's call it velocity in this case, but we could call it speed, uh, is going to be zero. So we'll start at zero. This is how much we can add on each frame. Uh, and this is the, the top speed. And so the basic idea now uh, when we go to update car is that when we press left and right, it's going to change the rotation here, as you can see. Um, but uh, when we press up, it's not going to actually set the car, uh, sorry, it's not going to directly move the car's X or Y position. Um, it's going to increase the car velocity by acceleration. So let's say the car velocity was uh, two and uh, you are now holding the up key. Each update function, it's going to add on uh, 0.1 to that and it's slowly going to speed up and speed up. Um, that obviously won't actually speed up the car. Um, so we actually need to move the X and the Y position um, of that in a minute. Uh, you'll notice here I've got if the down arrow is pressed, um, then we're going to, to subtract um, the car dot acceleration from here. Uh, and you'll notice uh, that it does the same thing, although uh, below it's limited to a, a slower reverse speed uh, down here. Um, now, the next thing I'm going to do is uh, clamp the car velocity uh, between the car's top speed and uh, one third uh, of the speed below zero. So that's the reverse speed. So uh, it only goes one third as fast in reverse. I'm going to clamp it between those two values. So it won't allow uh, the car to get faster than those values. Otherwise it would just speed up forever, which wouldn't be very, very good. Um, the next thing here, I'm going to uh, you, this is the same. If you want an explanation of this, these three lines of code, uh, you can go to the um, angled movement section, and hopefully that will make more sense. Uh, in fact, I suggest you get it moving, the car moving with angled movement first, and then come back here uh, and get all of this working. Uh, this is just some code to wrap the car around on the screen, so when it goes off the screen, it comes back. Um, the final thing is to just uh, draw the car, um, and here we are. Um, what are we doing? Drawing the car in the car's X position, Y position, uh, and that is the size of the car. Uh, you'll notice here that before we draw the car though, we're setting the draw rotation to whatever the car's rotation is, and then afterwards setting it back to zero uh, so that it can be rotated. Anyway, I hope that helps, and uh, if you need any help, let me know.